Okay, so we continue uh, with the ideas of uh, the birth of the company and let's say there was already some start and now we have to develop some survival strategies or uh, how to survive. So how to survive, to survive. And we are going to consider two things or we are going to uh, face ourselves two questions. The one will be when to enter the market. So when to enter and then there is going to be what kind of market to enter. So what market to enter. Just just keep in mind uh, these two questions. So when we focus at the first one, when to enter the market, the answers can be simple. There are just two and it can be early or late. So we can start. This will be a small table where I uh, bring these two perspectives. So we can enter the market at some early stage. So early stage or we can enter it at some some late entry so late entry and three and the the our second perspective just imagine this uh, this sense of a market and it is always segmented somehow there are these called segments or we can call them niches so we can choose either to enter just one of these niches or we can try to enter the whole market so these are the opposite, right? So we have got just one Nietzsche here. So one Nietzsche. And on the other hand, there are several Nietzsches. So several Nietzsches. And we already got it. These are, these are our two perspectives and our two answers. And now we are getting to a little bit of theory. When a company enters at an early stage, they call it the R strategy. So R strategy and when there is a late entry they call it the K strategy so K strategy and you can see that here I'm writing with the capital just just don't really care about uh, why is it called R or K strategy I think it is not that important for the moment and for for the second perspective uh, there are also going to be the names and they are quite a bit more intuitive because here we are talking about some specialist so specialist strategy specialist strategy and here on the other hand we are we are general so we are generalist strategists so generalist strategy strategy and now we we simply are going to uh, connect these our points that we have brought. So here is going to be R specialist, right? So R specialist. Then we keep our R and we have got R generalist. Generalist. Then we have got K specialist. K specialist and K generalist. So K generalist. And this is the whole idea. You can imagine any kind of company when, when you simply look at this uh, table that I have uh, generalized and simplified a lot. So let's just try to bring an example. We are entering in some early stage and we are focusing on one niche. So what kind of company is going to be our specialist? Well, the most likely we have got some great idea and I will change the color. So we have got some great idea. and probably we are going to offer some premium prices because we'll offer some premium services, right? So offer premium. What about the R generalist? Well, we are really going to be general and we are going to enter several niches and we are entering in early stage. What does it mean? That would, can mean that we have got some load of experience because we are pretty secure that even though we enter so wide market, we are going to be successful. So a lot of experience experience. What about the late entries? There is one basic difference between the the early entrants and the late entrants and from my point of view it is about the capital. When you are trying to enter in a late stage you most likely must have enough capital and uh, some experience because you are going to compete with companies that are already there. So you have to do something better. Maybe you have to invest much more in marketing. So most likely the, the generalist strategy in the late entry, they will have a lot of capital. So a lot of capital. 
and uh, about the, the uh, Nietzsche, the late entry, maybe it can be the company that uh, previously was, was our specialist and used to enter the market at the early stage, now they know what they do and they can afford entering at a late stage. So maybe it was our specialist before. And now, when you are going to look at any kind of environment, just imagine uh, these four points. These companies are really coexisting with each other in any kind of environment. So, hopefully, see you in the next video.